Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to make four different types of wallpaper in Rose Citizen. Make them super unique and they look great in any Rose Citizen's room. So let's get into it. So the first wallpaper is stripes and this is the easiest one. All you need is building blocks. So it's fairly self-explanatory but you just place the building block against the wall or on the floor. Scale it flat against the wall or is because you want the wall and then just scale it to the ceiling and then you add stripes all the way along as wide as you want or as thin as you want and that is the basic stripe wallpaper it doesn't just have to be vertical stripes you could do horizontal stripes you could do any shapes of building blocks you could make squares on them so and it's super simple here are some rooms that I use stripy wallpaper in you can make the stripes even or in this room I didn't make them even to try and make a retro look so you can do whatever whatever you want. So this one is my favourite wallpaper and it involves using shelves to make patterns on the wallpaper. So first you pick a shelf that you want to use, I'm going to use hexagons at the moment and place them, up, place them on the wall normally to make the pattern that you want. As you can see here, the shelf won't fit on the top, but with these shelf wallpapers I would suggest using a trim to cover up the top and bottom. I'll show you what that looks like later, so at the moment I'm just going to move these to the middle. So this is what the pattern I've chosen looks like at the moment, and you'd of course do it all the way to the other side of the wall. Then, to make it look like an actual wallpaper, you need to get a building block and place it on the side of the wall here, scale it as thin as it will go and you need to line it up so it's just behind the hexagon so it's overlapping and it makes the wallpaper look 2D as you can see here it's overlapping too much so it's actually combining so you need to move it just uh, the smallest amount to the left at the end of this design there's a little gap here so what I would do here is just create a small custom wall then because there's gaps at the top and bottom, I would create a trim around the room. For this example, I didn't finish it across the whole wall, but this is what it would look like, and with the trim it looks like the wallpaper is built in. I've done this with hexagon shelves, but further apart, so they make more hexagon shapes instead of diamonds. And I've also done this with the oval shelves, scaled as thin as they go, to make the circle pattern. And you could probably also do this with the square shelves, any shelves really would work. This wallpaper is going to be like a kid's wallpaper with images on it, like patterns. So first I'm just going to place the building blocks on the floor, away from the wall so there's a gap between the actual wall and the wallpaper. And I'm going to make this square pattern. I have now aimed the colours at a wallpaper that I would use in a kid's room. So here you could finish with this wallpaper and you can make it any colour you want. But for me, I've left a gap between the back wall and this wall so I can make decorations and images on the squares. So first I want to put a planet in this box, one of these glowing planets. And you could just place it on here like that, that would be fine. But I don't like the 3D effect, I want it to look 2D wallpaper. So what I'm going to do to do that is I will scale this block to the side. I will get another building block and place it against the wall. Against this wall, not the back wall, the side wall. And I'll make it so it's overlapping with this block, so it's halfway through this block below. Then I'll scale it like this, get the planet, place it on here, then you can remove that building block and scale this back. And I think it looks better turned off. So this is paper with some decorations around. I also made this similar with the same technique. So the final wallpaper paint, the paintings I'm going to use are the neon palm leaves. So I'm just going to place the six I have on the wall. But as you can see, it doesn't really look like wallpaper because there's gaps. So I'm going to make a custom here with a building block, and then I'm going to make a trim at the top of the building block. And with a little bit of added decoration, this is what I finished with. There are some other paintings paintings that kind of work to make wallpaper. Unfortunately I haven't found any paint which line up completely so there's always going to be these lines on the wallpaper. 
it's very unlikely that any set of paintings will fill a wall completely, so you likely need to add a custom wall like I did here with the building block, and you likely need to trim as well. The issue with this method is getting the paintings that you need. You can't buy them from the shop, you have to buy them from the museum, and there's only ever one there at a time and then always there. So to get lots, you need to use a private server which are free, and then you go to the museum, you get the paintings you want, then you just leave the museum and rejoin so the server resets and all the paintings reset so there's a new set there and you can buy more. So that is all the wallpapers. If you have any other wallpaper ideas that you could make in most citizens, please tell me in the comments as I would love to make more. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.